Good morning everyone, welcome back to the SVN channel. Guys, please remember, subscribe to our channel if you want to get continuous updates. Um, we do videos every week, we're uploading new content. There's exciting stuff from products all the way to species, fishing adventures. Subscribe, the little bell icon, click that. On your phone as well, make sure you enable notifications, otherwise nothing's going to pop up. And you're going to just keep up to date with everything. Back to the show. So guys, today we're going to be talking about the Rainbow Runner. Now, a lot of guys would have heard of this. Your shore-based guys, probably not as much, um, but your spear fishermen, especially the guys going offshore, um, your ski boat guys will probably know about these. Uh, Elegatus uh, bipinulata is the scientific name. Uh, quite an easy one, that. The rainbow run itself, as you see in the pictures, is a very streamlined fish. They're blue water, blue water fish. Um, torpedo shaped, very scissor-like tail, scare. Um, They've got a, very similar to a yellow tail, a blue top, um, obviously a much more pronounced, sharper mouth in the front um, than a yellow tail, but otherwise very, very similar. Blue top, white belly, yellow uh, stripe in the middle, it's a, but it's sort of blurred, it's not a distinct stripe, it's blurred into the white and into the blue on top. And then you get two lines that run along that, so like a greeny, bluey color. Let's go aquamarine to be specific, that run the length of the body. Now, the rainbow in itself attains about 1.8 meters, and I think it's about 45, 46 kilos thereabouts, the maximum size. The ones we get are a lot smaller than that. Um, they are an absolutely prized uh, offshore bait, especially for your bullfish, so your, your marlin, sailfish, things like that. More on the marlin side than the sailfish, they're a little bit too big for the sailies. Um, this is because they're very, very streamlined, the meat is quite tough on them, um, and also they're heavily preyed on by, by marlin. So you're putting a prey species in there that he's used to eating and it's something that's easy to trawl because he's got a nice streamlined body so you can trawl him at speed. Your feeding wise on them, uh, they're near surface species. So you're talking in the top sort of 10 meters of water. Um, they're pelagic, as you mentioned, blue water. They stay right in the deep sea. They're not coming into the shallows. And yeah, feeding wise, it's literally anything that they're going to pick up in that area. So you're talking pelagic crustacean larvae, um, small fish are probably the biggest part of their diet. Um, and then yeah, any larvae of any other uh, species or marine organisms that are around there. Your, in terms of targeting wise from, from our side, you're looking at, you have to first find them. So that's going to be it's very similar to Dorado where you're looking for structure out in the deep. So that's going to attract bait fish which then attracts them. Um, otherwise shoals of bait fish and then really color lines and, and, and areas thermoclines so where you got a, a, or a thermoline where you're getting a split between two different colors like two different temperatures um, but yeah for targeting them small live baits um, small lures flies uh, little spoons are probably your best bet for them because if you can see where they are throw uh, small little sliders and things like that, little uh, little toby spoons and things that you can and work fairly quickly. So toby, probably not the best example, but uh, little bullet type spoons that you can work very quickly and rapidly in the area. Got a bit of a shine to it and that you can um, move at speed. So yeah, the rainbow runner, it's, in terms of eating wise, it's not really a prized eating fish. Um, it's a species I have not caught personally, uh, but it's on the list, it's there. And yeah, there's, it's, it's, as I say, if you do catch them, you're not too sure about them. There are not that many regulations around them. Not to say that you should just be keeping everything you catch. But as an offshore guy, if you're looking for a bait for a marlin or something to try a little bit different, try a rainbow runner, put him out. Uh, you can trawl him live. You're going to bridle him through with a circle look in the front, maybe through the eyes or through the front of the mouth. And make sure you keep it open. If you are going to trawl him dead bait, then obviously keep the mouth closed. They're always going to balloon out like that. So yeah, the rainbow runner. Cheers guys.